Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert passed away from a heart attack at the age of 33 this month in his apartment in Puerto Rico, where he was working as a booker in for Carlos Colon's uh, WWC promotion. First of all, I'm 32. I'm like, I know. whoa. <laughs> 33 with a heart attack. Yeah. It's effing nuts, man. I thought he was I'm not, way older. I'm not like that. hoping this, but like, did he, did he have a drug problem or something? Is there, Maybe. I, I, I don't know. He might have like been a 30-year-old just doesn't have a heart attack, dude. I know. That's just... That, I don't know. I really don't. But the obituary from uh, in the Wrestling Observer included quotes from Todd Gordon, Paul Heyman, Lance Russell, Jim Cornette, Missy Hyatt, and others. Uh, in general, they talk about how close Gilbert's family was and how crushed they must be. But Heyman talked about how he isn't surprised and always figured he'd get this call because Gilbert had a lot of demons and compared him to Kerry Von Erich as a tragic oh, figure go. in the business. Yeah, when people say, well, he had a lot of demons, that's either drink or the or drugs. So, I or think combo. it's just drugs usually. I, mean, uh, I don't know. The, the bottle's a little different. I'm not saying it's not bad. You know, well, that was what, I, you know, I always said self to death for the most part, but drugs are the worst, man. When you hear demons, that's you know, yeah. Like, well, that was that was what they always say. Well, Scott Hall's got his demons, and it's like, yeah, and I mean, yeah, he did I do guess drugs that is a good, back that is day, a good but, point, but yeah, he was more of a boozer, right? Yeah, yeah big, that's a good point. Dude. Yeah, uh, just for me though, when I hear demons, I automatically go to like hard drugs. Like, nobody right. says it about weed or anything, like, yeah, damn right. that, but <laughs> <laughs> right. But either way, Gordon talks about how Gilbert grew up in the business, and because of that, he was paranoid and didn't trust anyone. Yeah, from what well, I hear, that kind of goes hand in hand. Well, yeah, when you're on drugs, yeah, yeah everyone's out to get you. But, yep. Well, I, and that sucks. wrestling, well, wrestling, especially the time, I mean, you got to think, he probably started, I'll, I'll even say 18, so... I don't know. It was the eighties, whatever, you know, I mean, he started in the territories, whatever it, it was a carny business. So yeah, you really couldn't trust anybody. Everybody was, you know, trying to get your spot, brother promotions throughout North America paid tribute to Eddie Gilbert this week, not WWF or WCW, of course, but all the rest of them, uh, pretty much did. Well, he was never in WWE though. Right. I right. So. I don't, I don't mm-hmm. think anybody, it would have been a nice gesture, but at the same time, uh, I don't think a lot of people would have known who he was in WWF. Odd, was, oddly enough, I would have. I remember him when I was a kid. Yeah. Well, well, didn't he pop up in NWA a couple of times? Or WCW? It was all one of the shows we did. I mean, that's when I started yeah. like really getting on you and you didn't call him hot stuff, remember? <laughs> that's yeah, where it yeah, all started. Right. Yeah. So I don't understand why WC like WWF had an excuse. He was never there. People probably wouldn't have known, but he was uh, in I WCW. Want to, I want to say, don't hold me to this. I want to say I remember Bischoff saying something about they didn't want to talk about it because he had drugs. It's coming back to me now. I think wow. that's why. But again, don't hold me to that. But I feel like he said that on one of his pods. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, Vince McMahon doing the CYA with Brian Pillman that people still talk about where he, you know, he just is like, well, we don't know for sure how he died, but if he did die from drugs, you know, a lot of people do drugs. It's not just here. It's like, Oh my God. Like, I get why he did it. It just, I mean, he's not wrong, wrong, but man, don't be saying that. I know. It's like, you don't know how he died, man. And you saying that is not going to play well in the media. It's not you getting ahead of the story. But anyway, USWA, ECW, and Smoky Mountain Wrestling all held in-ring ceremonies this week for him. USWA and uh, ECW also aired video tributes, and WCCW in Puerto Rico did as well. 